Good morning everyone, Ron Peterson with Peterson's Classics here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, bringing you today a very unique, very cool 1968 Ford Torino GT Indy 500 pace car convertible. Most people don't know what they are because there weren't many around. Um, these cars were delivered uh, without the decal package on them, a lot like a lot of cars that had Indy pace car uh, st uh, status. And people between ownership lost decals and new owners didn't know what they had. Uh, this car is fully documented, has a Marty report, uh, born a 390 car, V8, C6 trans, Ford 9 inch rear end, automatic obviously. Uh, has had a brand new convertible top put on it. Uh, no rust. This car was one family owned up until the uh, classic car company we got it from got the car last year, I believe. Uh, the title we have is uh, a title from 1971. I would assume that the original owners took out a loan, paid it off, and in 71 they got their title changed over in their name without a lien. So we have a, what would be an original title from the first owner. Um, really super car for us to have in stock. They were rare back in the day and have since almost become extinct. Um, again, many of them never even received their side decals. Uh, this was special ordered in Boise where it was uh, received by the owner on May 20th of 68. It has lived there ever since, Boise, Idaho. It was used sparingly, only shows 35,000 miles on the clock. I believe that to be 100% original. Uh, the title does not show the actual miles on the date in 1971, but I believe it shows uh, actual. I would have to confirm on that, but again, title's dated 1971. Uh, this car is very stock, right down to the original, uh, born with mufflers and exhaust system. Numbers matching 390, runs, fires up great. Has had a previous uh, tune-up fluids gone through by the uh, classic dealership that we got it from. Body-wise, uh, hard-pressed to find a more original example. It has had some paint work done to keep it fresh and looking good, but for the most part, original paint. Uh, the passenger side uh, was one of the areas that had some paint work done due to some body damage that was very minor. So that side has new decals on it. Driver's side decals are original. Um, but that area, again, there was some paint flaking on the old repaired sections, so the areas were stripped and repainted properly. The driver's side still has all original down to the striping, uh, which does show some age, but very, very nice for the age of the vehicle. Uh, it's an original car, so I'll leave it as much original as possible. Um, some reproduction uh, uh, stickers were added to the engine, but period correct paint to the uh, engine bay. Uh, done as original as it could have been. Um, car does look amazing and uh, you know a few imperfections here and there. Small dings, chips, uh, you know 55 year old car you're gonna have some of that going on but the biggest thing about it is the fact that it's mostly all original. Um, great driver, weekend cruiser. Um, due to the dry desert uh, in Boise the convertible top uh, was worn so that was replaced. Seat tops also Took some sun damage, so they were replaced with top quality reproduction material, um, as well as front seat carpet. Uh, there was a replacement panel done on the rear seat upper section, otherwise the interior is pretty much as delivered. Instrument panel on the car uh, looks amazing and still uh, is in great shape. Factory tachometer, this is a one of one car, it states right on the build sheet, it's the only one built with a tachometer. Uh, states, I'm sorry, on the Marty report, one of one Torino. Uh, wheels were powder coated for durability and uh, new tires installed. Trim rings and center caps are in great condition. 390s and numbers match an original, uh, believed to be 35,000 miles. And again, runs great. Uh, we'll do a little bit of walk around here for you. Uh, engine bay, period correct. Very, very, very nice. Engine runs like a clock. Talk to you about the Marty report. These will be pictured on our website. Goes through and shows all the VIN, uh, the production number. This plate is on the vehicle on the door panel. That's where the uh, placard is on the car. Does not have a dash tag. Sometime in the past, some way that was removed. Don't know why. 
uh, but the dash tag was removed. Uh, don't know if it was a, a rust factor at the base of the windshield with water creeping in or what it might have been, but the tag that is uh, born with the car is right there. Title verifies VIN, numbers matching motor. Car is, is a, correct and original. Take a look right there. One of them came with a tachometer. This is that Torino. So, pretty cool there. Uh, we've got the top up. I'm a one-man band, so I can't really remove it. Uh, but that top goes up and down faster than any convertible top car we've had. I will have pictures on the website of the top down. Uh, here's the interior of the vehicle. Let's take a look at the miles. 35,686. Put my information here on the seat. Um, radio still works. Pretty amazing. Heater works, blows hot, so no heater core issues. All the lighting works on the car. The interior lighting, the exterior lighting. Wipers work on the car. Turn that key on and show you the wipers real quick again. Sorry. Oop, that's the top. I pushed the wrong button. Horn works. GT symbols on the dash. Got a glove box right here that does have some information down on the top of the glove box of tire size. The dimension does have a vent tag down here for the vent. I believe that's a cowl vent if I'm not mistaken. Carpet again has been replaced. All the windows operate manually. All seat belts in place. Again, interior largely original with the exception of the updating we've talked about. Don't have to slam that door, it closes just properly as it should. A couple dings, not perfect, but most of the paint on this car is original and stunning. <laughs> very, very stunning. We'll pop the trunk here. That has been updated, uh, just light refresh spray inside the trunk. Wimbledon white, factory color. Uh, mat has been replaced out just to dress the trunk up. Spare jack, tire everything in place as it should be. Some of that updating was done just to continue with the car in uh, a very, very nice status versus scratched up. Nothing being hidden, of course. Nothing's glued down, it just sits down. That's typical underneath the vehicle. No rust issues, top of the fuel tank there. Again, this is a rust-free car, minus maybe a surface spot here or there that you're gonna find. Top, again, like new. Dash is in great shape considering the age. Sixty-five-year-old car, so just got a cool, cool look. All the GT symbols on it. All the exterior lights work on this car. We've been through that. All the fluids have been changed out fairly recently. Nothing old that way. We'll start the car up real quick. Let you hear it run. Cold blooded. Good enough now. 
nice sounding exhaust. This car is not one that leaks a bunch of fluids. If you get a drop underneath at night, that's probably about the most you're gonna see. Very, very nice running 390. All right, shut the car off, finish up the video. Any questions, feel free to give us a call, 605-213-3100. Peterson's Classics. Have a great day.